Hey, it's Shelly from Best Buy Canada's blog, and this week I've been spending some time testing out the Epson Echo Tank ET2760 All-in-One Super Tank Inkjet Printer. This inkjet printer is similar to other inkjet printers in that it uh, scans, prints, and copies, but this inkjet printer has a twist. It comes with ink refillable ink bottles that go into an ink reservoir instead of ink cartridges. According to the documentation on this printer, you should be able to save up to 80% by using refillable ink this way, um, as opposed to replacing your ink cartridges. Given that I've only ever used inkjet printers with ink cartridges, I was a little intimidated when I was first placing the ink in the reservoirs, but the way that it's set up with the ink jars, it actually couldn't be easier. There are four refillable jars of ink included with this printer. There's black, yellow, magenta, and blue, and each one has a dock on the top of the lid. So you, you pop the cap off and you'll see that there's a dock. That dock will only leak the ink out if it's inserted inside the ink reservoir. So all you have to do is tip it over and you don't even have to squeeze it and it will start to empty out. Once it's empty and you'll see it start to fill up in the window that's right in front of the printer. And that's an easy way to keep an eye on your ink levels. So if you ever see that it's getting very low, you know it's time for a refill through the ink process with each of the colors and then once you're done you will turn your printer on and it will calibrate. That takes the first time that I did it it took about 10 minutes. It does say on the screen that it will take quite a long time. Here's a look at what it looks like when the black ink reservoir is totally full and then I just repeated the process with all of the other colors. I didn't get a single drop of ink on me or my table when I was filling up the reservoirs and those docking caps work really well. I didn't use up all of the ink in the bottles. I could have filled them to the top, but just for the purposes of this test, I just decided to leave a little bit of ink in the bottle. Once my ink reservoirs were full, I just closed the caps and I was ready to use my printer. The ET2760 has a very small screen. It's not a touch screen, so I'll turn on the printer and you can get a look at what the screen looks like. I was a little surprised at how small the screen was within what appeared to be the larger display, but I did find it fairly easy to use. Um, all you do is navigate through with the up, side to side, and down buttons. There are, uh, there's an OK button and then there's two other function buttons. They are, the print is quite tiny though, so you do have to like really take a look at what's, um, which button it's asking you to use. But I really feel with this printer, just like most inkjet printers, there's a little bit of a learning curve just to, to figure out how it works before you use it. This printer will print 10 pages per minute when printing in black and white. It prints double-sided and I, the document feeder will hold 100 sheets of paper. I found printing in black to be very speedy. I was able to generate several jobs all at once. Color will print it five pages per minute and the only slowdown that I noticed with the color was that it was actually it delayed a lot more when it as you can see it's like spitting out the piece of paper but it delays a lot more when it's printing in color that's pretty normal for an inkjet printer uh, what else um, I noticed about the color of this printer was that it was slightly more faded. It wasn't grainy, but especially when printing images from the internet um, like these or printing a photo, which I did from my phone, it will actually be a lot more faded. This is just a picture I printed of one of my kittens, um, and it's very detailed and very pretty, but the colors are light. This is a Wi-Fi printer, so you can print from anywhere in your home without using a USB cord. In order to do so, you're going to have to set up your Wi-Fi. That was an easy process, just plugging it into my computer, or you can press the WPA button on your router. Once you are connected, you can download the Epson app. That app will allow you to print all the photos from your phone, scan to your phone, save your uh, images to the cloud if you'd like to, you can copy, you can do anything via the app that you can do on the printer. I found using the app to be very easy. There was no lag really or delay between when I sent my photos. It processed for a few seconds and then it sent it to the printer and it began printing. 
Overall, I found the ET2760 to be very easy to use, and I really like the idea of adding ink from an ink bottle as opposed to using an ink cartridge. It's much more environmentally friendly, it's really easy to do, and I love the idea of not purchasing ink cartridges for two years. This printer should be able to print 7,500 black pages and 6,000 color pages before it needs a refill. So you know when you have this printer that you're definitely going to be printing or you're not going to be running out of ink in the middle of the night when you really need it. I tested this printer for copying, printing, and scanning. I found they all work just as described. The scanner will send the uh, scan to your computer, which is normally how I would do it, but you can also insert a memory card and you can send your scan there. All copies and scans that I did with this printer came out crisp and clear. I was impressed with how quickly the scan showed up on my computer. It was fast and easy. The feeder will hold a hundred sheets and that's more than enough for any small business to have on hand so I found that was adequate. I also found that the lack of USB cord, there is no included USB cord with this printer. That didn't bother me, I had an extra one lying around so you may want to keep that in mind if you do plan on printing from this printer via USB. But in lieu of that, the wireless works great. The only thing to keep in mind with the wireless connection when you're printing is that you have to be on the same wireless network. So always make sure that you're connected to the same network and you'll have no trouble printing. I found the display to be a little tiny. It was a little bit difficult to read unless you get up close. Um, you definitely can't stand far away from it and see what the display says, but I compensated for that by basically using the app for almost all of my printing. That's it for my look at the Epson Echo Tank ET2760. For my full written review and other photos, please visit Best Buy Canada's blog. Thanks for watching.